Some of our greatest artists, Da Vinci, Michelangelo, they were left-handed. Paul McCartney's left-handed. Lady Gaga's left-handed. Not just outstanding people, but really icons of their field or their generation that really stand out. Something about being left-handed could really push someone forward to do something wonderful. The research is not super, super exact, but it seems that people that are left-handed in general tend to be more right brain Not always but it's generally how we think about that. So the right brain, we think of creativity, we think of intuition, whereas the left brain is more logical thinking. I started working on uh, the history of left-handedness, which turned out to be much more complicated than I had thought. Anything that's different is not accepted and demonized. They would say that there are all kinds of mental disorders that come from being left-handedness, so we make these people in the right-handed, these will go away. In the United States, Britain, and Europe, people had their hands tied behind their backs. They were humiliated in South Africa. If a kid's left-handed, they hit the hand, hit the hand, and finally, if he won't come around, they'll put his left hand in boiling water, which is very persuasive. And a lot of these left-handers who were being forced to be right-handers were stutterers. King George in the King's speech, it's not emphasized but true that he was switched when he was seven or eight years old. That's when he started to stutter. It's hard to be left-handed in the right brain world. Think about all these everyday things in the world, like doors. When we open the doors, they're generally for right-handed people. Can openers, scissors, it's harder to cut with regular scissors because they're meant for right-handed people. Notebooks, notebooks, the binding is on the left side so that when we're trying to write in the notebook, it gets in our way. Gosh, even measuring cups. It's really, really difficult to find left-handed products. And once you use them, you see that small tasks that once were a little bit difficult, now it's much easier. We are actually one of the biggest, if not the biggest, left-handed store in the entire world. We offer a wide variety of left-handed products ranging from school supplies like scissors, notebooks, pens. We have kitchen tools like can openers, bamboo utensils, gardening tools, office supplies like left-handed notepads. There was a big demand for left-handed products. Everybody knows someone that is left-handed in their family. We received many emails from left-handed people that didn't know about us and then they tried our product and it was like a life-changing experience for them. We have to adapt to a world that really isn't made for us. Having to do that, it perhaps makes us more flexible. So we constantly have to adjust throughout our day, constantly. And so in a way, we might think outside the box because we have to, because the box that's in the traditional world isn't made for a left-handed person. And since there's so few left-handers in the world, it's kind of nice to share this information with everyone. And that's what we really want, people to have a greater understanding of each other so we could get along better. Mm -hmm.